Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Raylan and thank you for being here today. It's so good to have you. Um, it has been a crazy few weeks. Um, I was going to do a girl talk video today and answer a bunch of questions. I'm still going to get to a couple of those questions, but I really just wanted to like sit down and talk with you guys because I just feel like it's been a minute since I have done that and also just to like talk about where I've been these past couple weeks. Um, I don't know about you guys, but literally ever since I think Thanksgiving, I don't know. I think Thanksgiving, like it just like Thanksgiving to Christmas just like flew by and it is literally Christmas week now. I'm recording this like two hours before I upload this on social media. So it the reason this is raw and unedited is because I literally do not have time to edit a video for you guys this week. And so I just wanted to sit down and because I still wanted to get a video out and just kind of talk to you guys, which is fine. You know, some weeks are just like that and you don't have time to really vlog or edit or anything like that and you just have to sit down and have a raw unedited combo so here we are and i still want to answer a couple of you guys's girl talk questions but the whole video won't be like the first girl talk where it was just me answering y'all's questions so but ever since thanksgiving i mean i have been literally so busy there has been some extra things on me as far as like work things um, and then if you're anywhere, like any type of involvement in the church world, you know that Christmas during, like church during Christmas is a whole different thing. And there's so much planning and so many different things that go into Christmas in the church world. And Christmas Eve is such a big day for churches. You have people that don't normally come to church. They come to church on Christmas Eve. And so you want to win them to the Lord and create an excellent service for them to experience the Lord at Christmas Eve because they most likely... service for them on Christmas Eve because you want to win them to the Lord and you want them to come back and you want them to actually start going to church instead of just on Christmas and Easter. You want them to actually devote themselves to the Lord, start a relationship with Jesus. And so there's just a lot that goes into Christmas and church world. And so I have been planning for that as far as planning services, planning worship sets. It has been like crazy getting all the music together, getting the people together and I'm just organizing that service and so I have been so stretched in that area it's taken a lot of time and on top of that obviously buying Christmas gifts for everybody you know actually doing the things that Christmas requires and buying gifts and getting them wrapped which I have not wrapped any gifts yet they're actually all in this room that I'm recording in right now and it just is a perfect reminder that I have to wrap gifts this week because Christmas is this week and I feel like I've been so behind on housework and if you know anything about me you know that I love my house to be clean and I have always had a set schedule of my cleaning days, what days I mop, what days I dust, what days I do bathrooms, what days I do laundry, like that is like set in stone. And I feel like in this season, I have just gotten so behind. I have not been able to stick to those days. There's been something every single day of the week that I have to do. And I feel like I'm slowly drowning in laundry because that's right to my right, literally in the room that I'm recording in. There's just so much laundry that I have got to get to and just housework in general dishes bathrooms mopping dusting literally everything needs to be done and i just feel like i'm drowning in housework and things to do in general and it is just you know how you like work so much better if the space you're working in is clean well that's just how i feel about my life in general like if my car is clean if my house is clean i'm a much more productive human being 
on top of all of those things, I haven't been able to go to the gym as much because of my schedule and obviously I could make time like if it was super early in the morning or super late at night, but I already have a morning routine and a night routine and I didn't want it to interfere with that. And so I already just feel mentally different when I'm not working out as well. And so there's just been like thing after thing after thing that's been stacking on top of each other and every day I'm just having to surrender it to the Lord. And it's obviously little things like it could be much worse, but it's just a super busy season. And so I'm not complaining. I'm just letting you in on where I have been mentally, emotionally, physically have just been kind of at zero. Like I'm running on empty a little bit. I have my time with the Lord has still been obviously there and it's what's keeping me going and he is obviously still good and still true and I love him and he works in all of these things and I've just had to take a minute every day to just be like okay Lord I'm refocusing on you you are the reason for this entire season like let me not get so worked up about the things that we have to do 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 and allow me to just focus on you and so that has been a daily prayer for me seriously and so what the next couple of weeks looks like is we so today is monday I'm recording this the day i release it because it has been crazy um it is monday we have a christmas with my grandma tonight because we don't do christmas with her on christmas day so my whole mom's side of the family grandma everybody has christmas with her this evening tomorrow we have Christmas, we're doing Norfolk Botanical Gardens where we go and see the lights tomorrow evening with my Nana and Papa. Wednesday, I have got to catch up on laundry and wrap these gifts and I have got to pack because Monday, the Monday after Christmas, we're flying to Florida. Um, but let me not get ahead of myself. So that's Wednesday, Thursday, we have a rehearsal for Christmas Eve for rehearsal, for run through, very in depth to now Christmas Eve down. Friday is going to be another catch up day. So all things cleaning, packing, wrapping gifts, getting this house together, getting my life together, making sure everything is organized and ready before we get into Christmas. And so Saturday is Christmas Eve. Micah and I are actually doing our Christmas, him and I together on Christmas Eve morning. So we will do our Christmas together. He'll open gifts from me, I'll open gifts from him, and then we'll do actually his family's Christmas as well. So we'll open the gifts from his side of the family to us on that morning as well. So that's Christmas Eve morning. And then that same day, we have to be at the church by 12 o'clock. We have two Christmas Eve services at 2 and at 3.30 p.m. So we'll be gearing up for those. And then after those services, we're going to stay at my mom and dad's house for Christmas Eve night and so we're there on Christmas morning we will be with them on Christmas morning we'll open gifts with them at their house and then we will head to my Nana and Papa's to do Christmas with them and then we will come on home after that on Christmas Day because then the next morning we fly to Florida for his family's Christmas and so we literally have to be packed Everything has to be wrapped, ready to go by like the morning of Christmas Eve because we'll get home too late Christmas Day to pack and we fly up the next morning at 6 a.m. have to leave my house at 6, at 4.45 a.m. to make it to the airport in time. So, as you can see from that little spiel, it is just crazy and we are just living in a crazy season. January is going to be crazy too and so we are just trying to make it and make it cheerfully and really reprioritize the things on our list and really make sure we're making time for what matters. I don't know if anybody else relates to this or if anybody else has been in a season like this. I'm sure that Christmas has been a crazy season for a lot of people. Um, but yeah, we are just, we are just so busy. He's obviously still working every single day and our evenings are jam packed so we really haven't had a lot of time just together him and i and so with the time that we do have we obviously have to be extra intentional with that and make the most out of the short moments that we do get together we leave for florida like i said on that monday and then we're spending monday through half of thursday with his family in florida 
And then we are driving to Inverness, Florida, which is about th four hours away from where his family lives because we are um, going to our friends Corey and Kenzie's New Year's conference. Um, I am leading worship with a couple of other people on for that conference. And so we have to be there Thursday through Sunday. And so we actually, we have that obviously, and we're preparing for that, praying over that, gearing up for that spiritually and just physically and doing all the things I need to do to prepare for that. And so that is, well, that's how we'll bring in the New Year's with them, which will be super fun. I'm so excited to be there. So excited to see them and experience what the Lord does during that conference. I just already know it's going to be so powerful. And so I'm excited for that, but obviously it's still just a lot going on. And so then we fly back from there on January 1st, that Sunday evening. And so I feel like we'll, that week we will kind of get to breathe a little bit and really just start the new year off hopefully just with rest and I just really want to make sure that we are implementing rest into our lives like in 2023 and it's not that we haven't implemented it in 2022 or really the second half of 22 but I just feel like we have to to another degree like just take a day out of our week to Sabbath, literally like the Bible commands us to do one day a week is to just rest and to Sabbath and to take in what the Lord has done. And so that's going to be really something that Micah and I try to do in 2023. January is a busy month as well. We have three nights of worships as a church. We start our church-wide fast. Um, and then we also have an all-night prayer scheduled in January. And then Micah's birthday is on February 4th, and I'm thinking that we might need to have a little getaway weekend that weekend to take a break from our lives for the past two months. And so, and I just want to do that with him to celebrate him. So anyway, that's just a little catch me up of where we have been. That's why we've kind of been MIA, just doing these short little videos really just to get something up and make sure that we're still recording and uploading and doing fun things. But we have just been so unbelievably busy and I am not someone who likes to glory in their busyness. Like, you know, like you talk to people and they're always like, I'm just so busy, I'm so busy, I'm so busy. I don't like to admit that I've been busy. Like I like to live a very, you know, what's the word? Like balanced life where I make sure that I am making time for all the things I need to make time for. And like I said, making sure that I'm organized and my life is still put together. Like I do not like being overly busy. And so that is not something that I like to maintain, but it has just been the nature of this past little season of our life. And so that is just the truth. And that is where we have been. And like I said, I know it's probably more people out there as well and mentally it's just exhausting like truthfully and we are just making it and the Lord has been so kind and good and I'm grateful for him obviously um but yeah a couple I'll go into a couple of the questions one because I was going to do a girl talk video one of the questions was on identity and it was just like how do you establish your identity in the Lord when like the world culture like the culture that is popular is so different from that that's like paraphrasing because I can't remember the exact question but I actually just preached on this last week Micah and I had the opportunity to preach at a youth group in Chesapeake and I like really just nailed identity and purpose and what I told them is like if you grow up in church, you always hear like establish your identity in the Lord. Like you need to have your identity rooted in the Lord and all of these things. And then you're kind of like, what does that even mean for me in my life? And how do I apply that in a practical way? And what I was telling them is like having and establishing your identity in the Lord literally means just to devote yourself to the bible devote yourself to reading the word devote yourself to the place of prayer devote yourself to spending time in the lord's presence and in that he's literally going to mold and shape you into the person that he needs you to become and that you're called to become 
And after you do that, and after it's a daily process of devoting yourself to the things of the Lord, you will eventually just be walking in your calling. You'll be rooted in your identity and the Lord. And I think when we neglect devoting ourselves to prayer and to the word of God is when we get so caught up in this worldly mix of like, this part of my life is rooted in the Lord, but this part of my life is completely separate of the Lord. And the thing with living for Jesus is he doesn't want part of your life. He wants your entire life and he can't be part of anything because Jesus is everything. And so Jesus wants to completely saturate every part of your being if you give him permission to do so. And so it's just a daily complete surrender to the Lord. And one day you'll be like, oh, I really am grounded and I know my identity in the Lord. And I know that these are the things he has called me to do, not because of anything except for the fact that you are so in love with him and you have so spent time with him that you know what he's calling you to do. You know who you are in him. And so that's just like the most practical way I can put it. And it's kind of just something you have to journey out yourself and do yourself to really know how that's going to apply to you. And then another one was talking about how you overcome like cycles of sin when it constantly seems to just like roll over your life. And almost not to like sound like a broken record, but it really is like the same thing of like daily surrender. And I believe that he can deliver people in a moment from sin cycles, but sometimes it really is a process that you have to walk out day to day. And a lot of times the Lord wants to see like, is this going to be something that you are willing to surrender to me on a daily basis? Like when the world comes to tempt, when I send people and friends to tempt you, like, are you going to be willing to say no to that and yes to me? Like, are you going to be willing to say yes to Jesus? Because you know, this plane, because you know that he is better than that sin that is calling and tempting you because sin is temporary satisfaction and I think the quicker that you realize that and it becomes like not just a realization but a revelation that is when the Lord can truly deliver you from that because you know that eternal satisfaction is found in the Lord and it has to be a daily turning away from old things and turning towards the Lord and surrendering your life to him that's how you overcome sin and staying accountable to people to people that you know will actually hold you accountable please don't ask your best friend who is also tempted by the same things to hold you accountable because they're in the same journey as you your accountability partner cannot be someone that is walking through the same things as you it has to be someone who's going to call you higher who has been there done that but has chosen jesus instead and so Stay around people that will call you higher. Put yourself in community and small groups and people that will not be afraid to call out the things in your life that you should be neglecting and avoiding and saying no to and people that will call you to serve the Lord in a greater way and completely devote yourself to them. It's just so important to be in that community, be in a local church, be around people that are good for you, that are godly examples, that are leading you towards the things of the Lord and not away from things of the Lord. Like your community and who you surround yourself is so important. And so that's like what I like to tell people is you might lose friends, okay? You might lose people that you care about in your life, but just because you lose someone it's normally, and if it's for the sake of the gospel and for the sake of Jesus, it's normally because he has better for you in mind and that he's going to bring you the people that he needs to be in your life to take you where he's wanting to take you. And that has been true in my life more times than not. And I've had to just say no to friend groups. I've had to say no to people and to things that were dragging me away from the Lord and start saying yes to the things of God on a daily basis basis it has to be a daily process a daily continual thing and uh, that's pretty much it for today I really just wanted to kind of fill you guys in on where I have been 
recently not as not like as far as like physically kind of physically but really just like where my mental state has been what has been going on in our lives and it's been crazy and we are thankful for the lord we're thankful for their journey and we know that one day things are going to slow down but right now it's just a busy busy season and that is okay I'm just trying to find the best in it all and really just take advantage of the moments that we do have to rest and to just sit with the lord and so Yes, I love you guys and thank you for watching this video, kind of watching me rant slash vent for a little bit and I hope that those two questions that I did answer impact you in some way or another. I will be doing a full version of the Girl Talk Part 2 eventually so you can go ahead and start sending in questions for that if you would like. Um, you can also go ahead and follow us on Instagram, follow us on TikTok. And Instagram is really where I share more of the day-to-day -day life with as far as just what it looks like in my world on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, so I would love for you to follow me over there. Message me on Instagram if you ever need anything, encouragement, or you just have a question or whatever. Um, I love to talk to you guys over there as well. Thank you for watching this video. I'm praying that the Lord blesses you. And I pray you have a Merry Christmas because I don't think... We will see you until after Christmas, so I just pray you have a peaceful, joyful season, Christmas season with your family and your friends. I hope the Lord reveals himself to you in new ways and that you experience the true meaning of what this season is and that you just experience Jesus every day um, of your life, every day of this season. I'm praying blessing and favor over you, and I love you guys, and we will see you next week. Love y'all.